start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Right through the very heart of it New York, New York I want to wake up In a city that doesn't sleep And find I'm king of the hill Top of the heap Nobody knows when they're gonna die why you gotta fear God, my dear friends. Free water, help yourself. Mi mesa es tu mesa, man. Mi casa es tu casa. Welcome. We got three English and Spanish Bibles here. See, the Bible says that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. I want you to live today, my friends. You're welcome. We got three English Bibles, Spanish Bibles. If you don't have a Bible at home, please come and take freely. I want you to know the words of life. The Bible says, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. The Bible, my dear friend, reveals to us God. The Bible shows us our need of a Savior, our need of Jesus Christ. That's why God gives us his word. That's why the Bible was inspired by the Holy Spirit to give light and knowledge to men. My friends, there is hope in Jesus Christ today. There's hope. The Lord, he can heal you, my friend. Free water, free Bible, free trust. The, the Lord, he can heal you. He can give you hope today. He is merciful to sinners. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Saved from what? Saved from, my friend, sin, the devil, death, and hell. The Lord Jesus has the power to save you from your sin. He has the power to forgive and to give you a new heart and a new mind. You can be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb today. Jesus came into the world to save sinners, my dear friends. And we're all sinners. We are all unworthy of the grace of God. We're unworthy of the next breath we take. The next breath you take is mercy. It's God's mercy. Give glory to God. You don't know the day of your death. God bless you. Free Bible, free water. We don't know the day of our death. We don't know. But we do know we will die. The wise Solomon said it's better to be in the house of mourning than the house of peace. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. Better is the day of one's death than the day of one's birth. My friends, if you are wise, you would fear God and number your days. You would apply your heart to get wisdom. You are wise. You would fear God and give him glory. This is the whole duty of man. My friends, our duty is to honor God bless you. Free water, free Bibles. But the water of life is what you need, sir. If you drink this water, you'll thirst again. Whoever drinks the water that Jesus gives, he'll never thirst again. Whoever drink, eats the bread he gives will never hunger again. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, and you shall. Free, free. Yeah, one, is one, yeah, please take one. There's lots of thirsty people out here. Don't be dehydrated. My friend, drink water. The Bible says, fear God and give him glory. I ask you, do you fear God today? Do you fear God? Your life is a gift from God. Your cell phone, your clothes, your, your food is God's gift. Honor Him! Praise the Lord Jesus Christ! From whom the glory and grace of God has been revealed. The Bible says, having this, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced disgraceful and underhanded ways. Yeah, welcome. There's lots of preachers out there who say, if you want your money, free water, free Bible. There's lots of preachers out there. There's lots of false teachers, false shepherds. They want your money. They want your praise. They want your trust. My friends, you need the truth. Jesus says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. My friends, many of, many of us are still slaves. Slavery is alive and well. Maybe you're a slave to pornography. Maybe you're a slave to crack cocaine. Maybe you're a slave to drugs. The Lord Jesus can set you free. The Lord Jesus can give you true liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Sir, can you? you? Thank you, sir. My friends, do you know God today? The Bible says, it's appointed unto man once to die and then judgment. 
Every one of us must return to the dust, for from the dust we came, and unto the dust we shall return. Free water, sir. You got a Bible at home? Free Bible, sir, for you, sir. Don't die without the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Don't die without the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says it's appointed unto men once to the free. Most welcome, dear man. The Bible is God's book. The Bible says all scripture, yes sir, is inspired by God. The word of God is God's breath. God breathed out this book. He breathed out the books of the Bible to give us light, to give us liberty, to give us, my friends, true happiness, this true grace and mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know Jesus today, my friend? The Bible says it's appointed. God bless you all. Give glory to God. I am his servant. My friends, my greatest joy is in you walk in the truth. As the book of 2 John verse 4 says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. 3 John, that is, verse 4. My friends, walk in the truth. No longer stumble in the daytime. Free. No longer stumble in the daytime. Deceived by the devil. Bound by the chains of alcohol addiction, of drug addiction, of pornography. Put away your zigzags, repent of your heroin, put away these drugs, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want you to die in your sins and go to hell. Free water. Free Bible. We got free English and Spanish Bibles here. Free water here. We don't need any heat casualties up in here. We got free water. Stay hydrated. My friends, you don't know the day of your death. You will rise, you will see your God, and give Him glory. This is the whole duty of man. When will we die? You know when you're going to die? You might be the toughest thug on the block. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, it means nothing. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity, says the preacher. My friends, you need the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ to wash you in your sin. God bless you. My friends, the Bible says, for by grace we are saved through faith. And that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. See, there's no boasting in the presence of God. See, God created this world for His glory. Free water here, free Bibles here. God bless you, sir. I hope you pray, my friend. I hope you pray. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. Why? Everything you have is from the hand of God. Everything you've received is a gift of God. So how can we boast as if we achieved it, as if we're self-made men? There's no such thing as a self-made man with God, my dear friend. You've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't know the day of your death. You don't know when you're going to stand before God. Your life is a gift. Your life, my dear friends, is a gift from heaven. You don't want to die in your sins. You don't want to die in your drug addiction. Look to the Lord Jesus Christ and you can be saved. The Bible says it is appointed unto men once to die. And then the judgment. Once to die. Every one of us will return to the dust, for from the dust we came, unto the dust we shall return. Do you fear God, sir? Do you give glory to God? Your life is a gift from God. Give Him glory. The devil has lied to you, my friends. Free Bible, free water. The devil has deceived many of you today. You think your drugs give you peace. Young man, remember your creator, young man. Give glory to God, young man. Repent of the pornography. Repent of these lusts of the flesh, the lusts of the eyes, and the pride of life. Give honor and praise to Jesus. God bless you, sir. The Bible says it's appointed unto men once to die, and then the judgment. My friends, and the Bible says judgment must begin at the household of God. What does that mean, judgment must begin at the household of God? 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. Well, many of us today, we trust in our religion. My friends, do you trust in your traditions? Do you trust in your baptism? Do you think that you're a Christian because you go to church on Christmas and Easter? And you live like the devil every day in between? I think you're going to die. Make your peace with God before you die. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, don't lose a soul. The Bible says, Jeremiah chapter 7, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Welcome, sir. You're welcome. Spanish. You've got English sir, in this box right here. Jesus is my boss. Yes, sir. Hey, man, I like your hat, sir. I got free English, free Spanish Bibles. My friends, many of you say the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. What does that mean? You might trust in your religion. You might trust in your traditions. You might trust in your good works. But the Bible says, for by grace are we saved through faith. And that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God. Free water, sir. Free Bibles. 
good. There is none righteous, the Bible declares, and we're the Romans chapter 3, verse 10. There is none righteous. What does that mean? No one's good enough to get to heaven. No one is moral enough. No one is righteous enough. No one, sir, can be saved by their own good living. Only the Lord Jesus Christ saves you from your sins. The Bible says, Jesus cried out on the cross. It is finished. When Jesus hung on that cross, God bless you, free water, free Bible, Jesus said, it is finished. Why did Jesus die? He died to set sinners free. He died to set captives free. He came, my friends, to proclaim liberty to the captive. Many of you today are slaves to alcohol, slaves to crack cocaine, slaves to zigzag. You need the Lord Jesus Christ to unshack with you. That's why Jesus was born into this world, young man. Yes, sir, that's a good question. Look, 
sir, can I answer your question? I'm, I'm not here to, I'm not trying to get to heaven by preaching, all right? I'm not standing out here trying to earn my way to heaven. No, 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 Jesus paid the bills, sir. Jesus paid the bills for all who believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've never sold drugs. I've never sold drugs. Homeless, I've been homeless many times, man. I've slept out in the forest. I've, I've been homeless, man. I've been homeless, as yet.
Bibles here today for you. Why? The Bible is the road map to heaven, man. If you want to go to Los Angeles, right, you're going to use a map, right? If you want to go to Atlanta, you're going to consult Google Maps, right? You're going to use a map. If you want to go to heaven when you die, my friend, you need a map to get there. I ask you, do you know where you're going? Do you have any idea where you're going? Because you're either going to heaven or hell. There's no purgatory. There's no limbo. There's no middle ground. There's either heaven or hell. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, then there's hell to pay. The Bible says, except you repent, you shall all, my God, perish. My friend, you know, the Bible does say, if a man thinks he stands, take heed lest he fall. Nobody knows the day when he's going to fall and never rise again. But we will die. Everyone will go back to the dust. For from the dust we take free water, free water, ma'am, God bless you, free Bibles here also. My friends, from the dust we came, and unto the dust we shall return. What does that mean? Your life is short. Life is a gift from God. Don't take it for granted. Don't presume, my friends. Give praise to God. Give glory to the Lord Jesus Christ, who gives you life and breath. Fear Him. The Bible says, fear God and keep His commandments. This is the whole duty of man. What's His commandments? You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. Do not be drunk with wine. But be filled with the Holy Spirit. I ask you, what spirit animates you right now? What spirit moves you right now? The Bible says, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Not with wine and spirits. Not with crack cocaine and heroin. Heroin will make you feel like a hero. But it will leave you in hell. You gotta repent, man. You gotta repent. Life is short. You don't know the day of death. Nobody knows when he's going to return to the dust. Doesn't matter who your daddy is. Doesn't matter how much money's in the bank. Doesn't matter, my friends, what color your skin is. God doesn't care about that like corrupt politicians. The Bible says, judge not according to the appearance, but judge God with righteousness. God is, God is black. God is a spirit, sir. The Bible says in John 4, 24, that God is a spirit. You see, the devil, he means to divide and conquer the human race. And this is his M.O., man. The Bible says a house divided against itself cannot stand. So the devil wants us to play the race car. What did the Honorable Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. say? I have a dream when a day when people will be judged by the content of their character, not by the color of their skin. My friends, God will judge you not by the color of your skin. He's going to judge for your sin. That's why you need Jesus Christ to save you today. Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And what's a sinner, my friend? Tamina Shayeshua Hu Hamashiach. Hapsipa Yeshayahu 53, my Jewish friend. My Jewish friend, Tamina Shayeshua Hu Hamashiach. Jesus is the Messiah, is what I said in tongues, not in tongues, in Hebrew. For my Jewish friend who walked by, do you know Jesus today, my friend? The Bible says we're all going to die one day. You know that? It doesn't matter who your daddy is. It doesn't matter how much money's in the bank. We're all going to die. We're all going to return to the dust. The Bible says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Free water, free Bible. Help yourself. Me mesa esu mesa. My friends, you don't know the day of your death. You don't know when you're going to stand before God. God knows about all the pornography you've been doing. God knows about all the drugs that you've been ruining your soul with. You've been ruining your potential with these drugs. You need to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. He can set you free. The Lord Jesus Christ can give you true peace. He can give you true joy. He can give you true heaven, my friends. True ecstasy. True euphoria. He can make you so high and you'll never fall again, my friends. He'll bring you to heaven itself, the highest plane of existence. The Lord Jesus can bring you to heaven. He can bring you to his celestial kingdom. Those drugs will bring you high, but that which goes up must come down. That which goes up must come down. And you may get high, but you're going to fall so low again. You're going to wake up with a bad trip. You're going to wake up with a hangover. And then, my friends, then there's hell to pay when you die. When you die. And you shout that we're all going to die. It doesn't matter who your daddy is. It doesn't matter how much money. That's loud. It doesn't matter how much money you got in the bank. It doesn't matter who your daddy is. Everyone dies. You know that? Are you ready for death? Do you know God today? If you don't know God, your life is just a waste. If you don't know God, everything you've lived for is a waste. You're wasting your life away in these sinful ways. The Bible says there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is the way of death. You might think you're on the right path. You might think that drugs will just, you know, fix all your problems. You may try to 
drown your sorrows in a bottle. And that's not the answer, my friend. That's not the answer. You need the Lord Jesus Christ. He can wash away your sins. He can forgive you, my friend. He forgave me of my sins. The Lord Jesus can forgive you. He can give you hope of heaven. He can give you hope of the glory of God. You were created, my dear friends, in God's image. Whatever your skin color, we are all equally made in God's image. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Don't let the devil sell your soul. Don't sell your soul to the devil for a few more drugs, for a few more alcohol, for a few more one-night stands. Get right with God before you die. Free water, sir, free Bible. There's some water in the cart there. You don't know the day of your death. You don't know when you're going to stand before God. If you are wise, you would prepare for death. My friend, everybody's so distracted today with our cell phones and our big screen TVs. You're distracted with all of these glittery things that are not gold. But they're going to die one day. And all that matters is not money, is not toys, is not videos, is not games, is not the lust of your flesh and the lust of your eyes. Pride of your life. All that's going to matter is did you know God? Do you know God? The Bible says in John chapter 17, verse 3, This is eternal life, that they might know the only true God and Jesus Christ of the sin. You might miss your bus, but you're not going to miss your date with death. Everyone returns to the dust. Everyone dies. You need the blood of Jesus Christ to wash away your sin. You're not good enough. You're not brave enough. You're not righteous enough. You're not strong enough to face God. You're not strong enough to face God. You cannot challenge God and win. You cannot fight against God and hope to win. You need the Lord Jesus Christ to set you free. Your life is a gift from God, sir. Do you know the day of your death? Nobody knows when you're going to die. If you are wise, you are prepared to meet God. Your money can't help you. Your white privilege God, your black privilege God, your Latino Asian privilege God can't help you when you die. God is not a corrupt politician who's going to be bribed. God, my dear friends, doesn't care about the color of your skin. He's not trying to get your vote. You know why? He's not a president. See, God is not an elected official. Rather, he's sovereign king. Free Bible, sir. I think there may be something. There's room at the cross for you. God is not an elected official. Free water is hot out here. God is the sovereign king. God is the sovereign. I did for the first 30 minutes. But, uh,